Welcome to the Miniatures Pampers. Today we're going to talk about slow dry or drying retarder and how I use it in our hobby. Hey there. So today we're going to talk about slow dry or drying retarder and it is pretty much what it kind of indicates where it slows down how quickly your paint dries. Now you may think, well I thought I want my paint to dry quickly so I can move on to the next thing and paint it. Some cases that's true, but sometimes uh, especially when you're talking about blending then it's sort of essential to give you more time to develop the technique of blending uh, to have the paint slowly dry. Now, unless you are an excellent painter who have been, has been doing this for years or are just naturally talented, uh, two things that I am not, um, you would develop uh, a lot of mistakes especially when you're doing some kind of wet blending which seems uh, to be one of the staples and a lot of people are nervous about uh, wet blending now in order to make wet blending easier again we're using slow dry to give you more time to blend back and forth throughout the colors wet blending is when you take wet paint and you put it on the darkest recess right and then you take uh, some more paint uh, and the highlights in which you want to go to and put it on the opposite end of the spectrum where you want it right and then you got to blend the two getting them closer into the middle and mixing it directly onto your miniature where you're actually doing the blending instead of doing it on the uh, wet palette you're doing it actually on the miniature another way to approach this uh, is to do it and put it on your wet palette take the two colors and blend in between so you'll have different gradients of the colors that which you want to use now if you want to do it in that manner then that is called layering not necessarily wet blending so putting the colors onto the miniature and blending it in between uh, unless you're really really good at swelling those paints together and you want them to dry quickly then using slow dry will allow more time to push the paint a little bit uh, darker a little bit lighter so you can get a smooth transition going from that one color to that other color while blending I notice this a lot especially when I'm using or learning how to uh, do non-metallic metals I'm pushing myself as an artist to learn how to do monometallic metal gold and I realized that in pushing the paints and getting the different gradients using this slow dry medium allows me and affords me more time to make errors and to play with it so this way I can get comfortable with it. Just like anything that you're learning there is a learning curve. That means there's an amount of time it takes you from going to non, uh, non proficient and completely new to becoming more comfortable with where you're manipulating these mediums and painting. And doing something like non-metallic metal or doing some kind of wet blending or challenging yourself in your hobby, uh, this will lessen the steepness of that learning curve and make it easier for you to get more comfortable with the medium. At which point you can get better and improve and maybe even become an expert. But this is definitely something that both experts and novices use. It is said that using uh, these drying retarders gives you about an hour of dry time between the paint. Um, in my experience though, uh, since I guess I, I mix the, dry, the slow dry with water, um, it takes about five to ten minutes before it dries. And I have five to ten minute play time where I can push it back and forth. Maybe I'm doing it differently. I don't know if you have your own methods, please comment down uh, below. Even though I said it takes about ten minutes, uh, when I'm painting a miniature, especially a small little area, especially an accent, it just seems to be more than enough time to create the blends that I like. And that's going from someone who never did a non-metallic metal, metal uh, surface uh, going from someone who never used slow dry before to using the slow dry, uh, becoming a little more proficient and improving in the non-metallic metal blends using that slow dry. 
Now, if you're trying to use uh, slow dry, I wouldn't use slow dry to do edge highlighting personally. I find that the paint kind of runs when I do that. It just doesn't work as efficiently. So when doing the edge highlighting, I personally stay away from drying retarder. Okay, uh, Vallejo puts out a drying retarder. Uh, it's in one of those small little bottles. I do not have that. What I use is Liquitex. Uh, slow dry blending medium uh, and I, I've had great effects with this uh, you can play around with the Vallejo if you prefer one uh, to the other please let me know in the uh, link below uh, please let me know in the comments below uh, and tell me why you prefer one to the other I'd like to learn that too again this is a journey we're both on and we're both learning and doing together well if you like this episode, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time on the Miniatures Paintbrush.